nothing happened, nothing. Alright, hello ladies and gentlemen to the VRML Season 12 Week 1 matchup of War Thug QC versus Fake. I'm your host, F. Lipinski, and I am proud to be casting here tonight in front of all of you. Uh, these are two teams that have not made a mark in the Honor of VRML League yet so far. This is their time to shine. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm glad to be back. It's good to be casting again. I'm, ex I'm very excited. Uh, I'm definitely going to make sure, you know, this is the first cast I've been back and we're going to tweak some things if we have to. So, you know, you already saw one thing I got to gotta work on already, but, um, well, you know, we're making progress. It's, the, it's only week one, guys. It's week one. Um, let's quickly break down the, the teams real quick. We haven't even, we, we're, we're getting to meet today. Uh, we got Warthug QC as our home team right now. We've got Mean Machine playing for us. We got Annihilate ID uh azac 93 sarcasm qc and the fox um on our vml website it says they are all canadian so we got a canadian team here tonight guys um right now they are the they are voted as the expected winner of tonight's match on our website but once again we're gonna have predictions rolling on each map to see what you guys the viewers think are going to be the winner for tonight as well real quick in case you guys are all new here uh welcome to vrml we are a organization and league that are here to provide some really competitive matches in a esports environment where we host uh game modes called uplink uh it's a satellite that is uh placed in certain parts of the map um where a marsoc team who's attacking has to go and send a seven digit random code um, within a certain radius of the objective, usually around that five feet radius. While the defending team, the Volk team, who are Russian, are there to defend that objective and make sure that the Marsak do not get too close to send that code. So either, either you kill the enemy team and you get a point, or you send the uplink and get two points for your team. So Marsak will have that slight advantage of getting an extra point each round. It's first to four points for tonight, guys. So once that team gets four points, we swap the next map, and it's best of three maps. So we're going to see who wins. Of course, if one team wins the first two maps, the third map will still be played just in case. You know, points still matter. How many rounds you win still matters a lot and really affects that uh, match make rating um, in the league tonight. So really, it's going to be an interesting interesting game. We're going to see really who, which team is more prepared. Um, on fake, for the other hand, we're going to have some players that you may have noticed in a couple of lobbies. You see their names quite optional. We got Pink OG, we got Grayicious, we got Felsi, we got Saddler6 underscore 6, and Michael Higgins. Um, in case you guys are curious, Felsi has played um, in the Echo Arena League for two seasons, playing for a gold team and a bronze team called Delgati um is what he's currently on he used to be playing on druids and the kingdom so felsi has some experience in the vr master league while the rest of his team have not made a mark yet um and they also have another player called uh ed raven um 06 who's also been competing in echo arena 2. so it seems right now that fake has a couple players who are used to a competitive scene so far um while right now war thug does not have any players that have uh, competed in the VR Master League yet either, um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty interesting. Um, let's also take a like, take a quick moment to thank all of our sponsors for starting off with us for season twelve. Of course, we have Downpour Interactive, we've got Pro Two VR, HyperX, VR Cover, uh, Asterion, Rebuff Reality, Cyber Shoes, Arma, VRWare, Be Haptics, and a new sponsor we got, which is border foods which is one of the largest taco bell franchises in the nation so it's pretty awesome to have such a such a big name you know come sponsor our uh, vr master league what i'm very proud to be a caster for so um any minute we're gonna be starting our first round and in case you guys are curious we're gonna be playing uh snow peak for our first map 
um also let's take a quick look at our at our bands if we if we have time um for our home band we are going to have uh shipyard and for our away band we are going to have sand let's go ahead and real quick we're gonna hop into round number one and the first objective we have today is going to be over in the little uh storage warehouse up in the north northeast quadrant of the map fake will be starting off on defense we got a couple of players from war thug they're gonna be entering through the tunnel system of this map it's a very tricky area because there's a lot of tight corners and quite a few dark spots as well. We can already see we've got one of our players uh, from Fake Sador who is going to be watching this tunnel exit here right behind these sandbags, giving himself a little bit of cover. So both players, Sarcasm and the Fox, are going to have to watch out for Sador, see if uh, Sador can get a couple picks there. On the inside of the objective... Good. We've got Pink here, who's going to be watching a really nice line from behind these boxes. If you don't have good eyes and you're not easy at spotting out the little uh, odd things in the uh, in the picture, you might have a tough time spotting Pink OG here. So far, you can't really tell if uh, anyone from War Thug is going to be entering this way, but Pink th is going to be watching a pretty... Uh, pretty important direction here this is one of only four entrances to the objective the other three we're going to have is going to be covered by michael higgins grayishus and then this one over here we got felsi watching this side over here too let's take a look at what's going on from our players on war thug Real quick, you can kind of notice that they're playing a little bit slow here, and that's a smart move because right now you don't know how Fake's going to play. You don't know if they're going to push this objective and they're going to they're gonna push on the offense a little bit, even though they're supposed to be watching the objective. We do have an interesting smoke coming out. Not quite sure what the plan is for that smoke. Hopefully, Azak does not team kill. Looks like they're uh, giving some comms out kind of notifying their position for no team kills here a very very patient defense from fake indeed no one is getting peaky no one is trying to rush out in the open thirsty for a kill which is really good because a lot of onward is patience trying to play it nice and slow and make sure that you don't let your your opponent get the upper hand because of your impatience. Doesn't mean that you have to always play slow. There's a lot of great players in our league that can play very quick and still dominate on the battlefield too. Let's see if Pink OG can get Annihilate here or if Annihilate's going to spot Pink OG down that corner. A couple shots from Pink OG come out, misses, and a trade between Pink OG and Annihilate. That was a close one. I think Pink kind of kind of missed a couple of shots there on that that shot right there, causing Annihilate to kind of recuperate himself there and uh, get the get the shot off. Luckily though, it was a trade from both sides. So now it's a four v four. Let's uh, let's see on us uh, uh, Sador over here. Looks like he kind of moved up a little bit, getting a little bit antsy here. Will uh, Fox and Sarcasm hear him? Oh, and as I say that, will this be a two-piece or will there be a trade here? Or will Fox get the first shot off? And Fox does get the first shot off, making it a 4v3, leaving the last three players on the objective here. It's going to be, I mean, it's it's a 4v3, but it's still going to be a tough one. This is not an easy objective to attack from. You know, all it takes is for the defense to know which door you're coming from and pre-firing it to prevent anyone from moving in. Right now, I think there's, there's going to be some communication coming out from War Thug, trying to make sure that uh, everyone's on page, no one's rushing in one at a time. 
Azak's gonna move in right here as Gray is just is watching this angle. Smoke's coming out. Not a great throw. Does not make it through the doorway. Right here would be a great time for Grayish just to pre-fire, but just misses the opportunity. Azek is now in the objective room. This is very dangerous for Fake here. Kelsey's going for the shots and does get Azak, making a 3v3. Extra pre-fire for Michael coming out. Are we going to get a rotation from Fox and Sarcasm? Yes, we are. Here they come in from behind. A little flashbang to prevent any pushes. Mean Machine's going to play a little bit slower here. But now they're going to have to watch out for their six as they're, as Fox and Sarcasm are coming from behind. Is Thelsey going to hear Fox and Sarcasm? Well, they just took some shots, so they certainly will hear that. And a C4 from Sarcasm or from Thelsey gets Sarcasm. Well... Will Thelsey get the get the shot on the Fox, or will Fox get the refrag? With is that a nade? It was a flashbang. I don't think it found Thelsey, but Mean Machine's running in. Thelsey finds Mean Machine and finds Fox. Wow, what a great play from Thelsey there, giving Fake that round win. It did not look like it was in their favor a little bit from the start there, as it, they were down an extra player. But Thelsey with a four piece bringing in the W for fake. Giving them a point this round. Let's go ahead and I did not add the map. So let's go ahead and add that map there. We are currently playing on Snow Peak. Boom, there we go. Added, it's all good crisis averted i know you guys are probably spamming in the chat you forgot to add the map or you left the overlay up don't worry that's not gonna happen again smooth sailing from here just look at my shirt we're all about about riding the waves here let's let's kind of break down what we saw that last round that got fake that win they were very patient. They had three players on that objective. So as soon as one person got in, they had three eyes on them at all times. They made sure no one would get close enough to send that code, which is really good. They had two players off objective, which at one point we did see that Sador could have gotten a two piece there and he did miss it a little bit, but that's okay. Cause <laughs> man, Thelsey, just, you can say he came in clutch there. I mean. He had three other he had two other players up that could help help him there but he really you know held down those two entrances and that was a great c4 placement too he really knew where, what he was doing with that c4 placed it in a great spot and got himself an easy pick surprisingly fox did not go for the revive and instead went for the the refrag there but we're gonna go ahead and hop into round number two Warthug will now be on the defense here with Fake getting a south spawn all the way in the back of the hills. Gonna have to play that offense. If we take a look here, we got our map here. We're gonna see a little bit of a 3-2 split. Three players gonna be taking the tunnels as two are gonna push through the outside uh, a little bit in the middle area. Um, we got pretty much a tight defense from Warthug as well. We do have two players off the objective on the outside. Fox is in a great spot. He's going to he's gonna pretty much try and prevent what he can from players approaching up here. He's just got to be careful, you know, from that peaking right there. If Delcy and Michael Higgins were to peak this corner, they could possibly get an easy shot onto Fox. Meanwhile, we do have Sarcasm in the back of this objective on the outside he's in a pretty I would, actually that's a good spot and i only say that because it's a spot that not too many players are going to check meanwhile fox does find michael higgins on that cross in the open there really good shot there thelsey did make it across and he's going to try and approach from the tunnels he's, he's moving in pretty quick though He's not waiting for his teammates. His teammates are still a little bit behind. He's just moving in. Now, Annihilated might be able to hear this. Do they have a C4 placed in here? Oh, no. Azik might get a... No, he... Azik could not spot him there. And a really bad smoke placement from Thelsey. Just got cut up on those pipes. 
if you guys are not aware this is vr so we are throwing these smokes in our in our room or in your kitchen wherever you may be playing so there are times where you just suck at throwing <laughs> it happens you know as it is going for the pre-fire making sure no one's coming in through that smoke meanwhile we still have three players coming in through the tunnels and we have sador coming in from the outside he's gonna be the first person that sarcasm will come in contact with will sador check this corner enough to spot sarcasm he won't sarcasm gets the shot and takes out sador meanwhile pink og is going to be moving up pre-fired the boxes to make sure no one was in his old spot Annihilated is in a really good spot here to make sure no one can come up that corner. On oh, the trade, Annihilated with the headshot on a pink OG, and pink OG with the headshot onto Annihilated. What a great trade from both teams. Belsi's trying to get shots onto Azak, but Azak is getting a lot of pre fire down that tunnel. Just barely nicks Belsi there. Will he be able to get the get the down on him? At some point, Azek will have to reload. Oh, but he finds Stealthy before he has to do that. And look at all those bullets he's shooting. That's a lot of rounds. He's not done yet. He's going for the confirm, making sure that player is dead. All that is left is Grayicious. Moving in slowly, trying to mask his footsteps. As I say that, he takes a couple of shots to get the confirm onto that player. And Mean Machine does get the shot onto Grayish just from that position, giving War Thug a round win, making it tied 1 1 here tonight. Wow. Well, I think this is actually going to be a close game. I, I wasn't too sure. Sometimes you never know. One, play one team might have just a huge advantage, have been. You know, maybe one team was training for a week. Another team was training for months. You never know. It's a hard thing to say. But right now, it looks like both teams are very well skilled and very well matched together. I think it's going to be a close game. Fake's team is the underdog for tonight based on the VRML um, matchup. We will see how they do. So far, it seems like they are doing pretty well for an underdog. Uh, I think this is going to be... Uh, hopefully, this might be a little team romance i don't know what you call it rivalry brewing up here this is the both teams first competitive esports match and onward maybe this might be something that they always think about and they think these are going to be our rivals we'll see tonight we'll see how they uh compete how well they do and see who comes out on top let's uh let's get all these predictions in each map let's see what people start thinking let's see you know bet those points guys let's see what you guys think who's gonna win um right now i can't i can't i don't know who to say it's too close so far both teams did really well what we saw from war thug is once again a very tight defense and a tight defense on this map is or on this objective specifically it's just something that's very hard to beat it's just too difficult because it's so tight corridored there's not too many entrances it's really hard to tell what you're going to do here but let's go ahead and hop into round number three you're great all right and on round number three we're gonna have the helicopter southwest objective here so on this objective you got a pretty open area. It's, it's going to be pretty tough to get to in cap. Usually you'd have to have uh, one or two people left up on defense or a very open lane for someone to sneak in from behind to get to that objective. We're going to see how uh, Fake plays this, if they're going to play very tight or if they're going to spread out a little bit. We can already see Sador is checking that ice, like make sure no one's just getting an easy sprint down to the objective. What they do do not know is that the Marsock side did spawn in the southeast corner once again warthog is playing very slow this is something that you will see out of a lot of newer teams where they take their time in the beginning on Marsock, mainly because they are not too well associated with the timing of Marsock and defenses um this means that when you spawn in one you have more than one spawn on Marsock. it's not always the same 
Um, and two, it is when you know how far you can get down the map before you even come into contact with an opponent. So this gives you an advantage because you can cut off half the map so the defense doesn't get too far and make it almost too impossible to attack the objective. So once you start seeing more experienced teams play, by the first 15 seconds, they'd already make it halfway down the map. And that's because they know how valuable map coverage is taking as much of the map as you can and really narrowing down where the defense is because right now at this point war thug may not know at all where any defense players are they may think okay well at this point we've taken this long they could be here they could be there but if you spend the first 10 seconds and you just push far down the map to where it's still safe to not make contact you'll know that they can't be behind you or they can't be anywhere else Michael Higgins does find a really good shot onto Mean Machine up that hill. Mean Machine wasn't uh, prepared for that peak. And we do have a have a Felsey and Michael actually watching this angle here. This is a this is a asking for trouble there. One nade and they both go down. And sarcasm pushing up here. Will he find Sador? Will he make it right through? Sador's peeking this in prone. Oh man. Now this is a very meta position where Sador is. You have to check that spot. Sarcasm spots him. Misses his shots there. And Sador is going to go for it. Flashbang. I don't know if it got Sarcasm. I think it did. Sarcasm goes down and Sador gets a really good kill there. With a nice flashbang. Making it a 3v5 fake with the advantage now. Let's see where Annihilated and the rest of his team is here. We got Azak. And we have, what's that? The Fox approaching in through the middle, somewhat south part of the map. They're trying to use these hills to get a little bit of a height advantage here to kind of sp spy in a little bit more on that objective, see if they can see anyone running around. Azak might have just spotted Sado running around that hill. But I'm not sure. He does have a four times on his M16, which will give him a lot longer uh, range and field of view. Fox is trying to get some shots onto Michael. They traded some shots there, but neither one does go down yet. Meanwhile, Azak's getting a lot of shots out onto the objective. I think he might see Grayish just. Will he get him? But will Pink get the shot off first? And he does. Pink finds Azak with the headshot there. Preventing the, the kill on his teammate, leaving it a 2v5. It's not over yet. There have been worse scenarios for a team and still made the comeback. Right now, it is looking like it is in Fake's favor, though. Fox is desperately trying to get out Michael here with a flashbang, and he might have gotten him. Michael does not seem to be beaking. Fox is in a pretty decent spot here. He just has to make sure he gets Michael, but he has to be careful as well. Michael's about to peek this corner. He finds Stelsey, but Michael does get the Fox. And now it's all up to Annihilated in a 1v4 situation here. Sador smoked himself. Not sure what's going on there, but might be something that I don't understand. I think what happened is he might have been spotted by Annihilated and used the smoke to give him cover to get into a safer position. Because that sniper tower is a very risky spot when you are, you know, noticed. It's 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 uh, not very uh, bulletproof. Annihilated is rotating around in a really good rotation fashion too. Will he get sad or but... I don't think he was able to caught him on that rotation. He is getting behind the defense here, which I don't think is something that Fake is going to be prepared for. I mean, once they hear the first couple shots by Annihilated, they might be a little bit suspicious. Oh, but Sador got the shot onto Annihilated first there, giving Fake another round win, making it 2-1. to one. Well done by Fake. That was a really well well played objective there by that team i don't think they only lost one player there they played tight but they kept watching their entrances they made sure that no one was coming in from behind sado did a really good job at preventing any kind of flanks uh right now pink og has three kills felsi has four sado has two 
and Michael Higgins has two as well. So they are all doing great at the moment. On War Thug, every player on their team has gotten a kill so far with Fox at four and Annihilated at two. So the kills are somewhat even on both sides, well spread on both sides as well. So it's something that, you know, it's not really a, a uh, very kill-sided game. You know, you're not really relying on whatever team's got more kills. This is really more about strategy and, and map placement for your teammates, you know, getting in the right spots and each getting a kill here or there. You're not relying on one teammate to be an entry fragger, run it at every time, every moment and try and get as the most of the kills while everyone else does their strong suit of trying to send the, the up, uplink or trying to get information. You know, they're all playing a well-balanced part so far that we've seen today. So well done for both teams. I mean, this is their first match and they are ranked in the bronze division, but it feels like I am casting a silver division match right now, which is something I feel like um, I'm seeing more throughout the growth of Onward and VR. What we see now is, you know, we're seeing these new teams that are coming up and being emerged, but they're getting so much practice and so much information on how to improve so quickly that that wasn't around at, at the beginning of the VRML uh, season one, season five, season eight. It only started popping up closer to season nine and, and anywhere after because we started getting, you know, Theta's videos. He, he has a lot of well-made videos that really gave us good insight on how to improve. We've got more videos that you can watch of previous casts like this today to see really good spots. And then overall, we have a lot more people playing onward. So there's more lobbies to hop in and get practice on too. So on Fake's offense, they did spawn in a different location than we saw uh, Warthug. They did spawn over in the uh, mid north i would say it's a little bit outside of the tunnels in the middle um we do have pink preventing any kind of uh excessive pushes across the ice lake i think he did call out sarcasm though behind that hill it's going to be interesting to see how he's going to approach this as well with his other teammate i believe he has one more teammate that's going to be coming in above the ice lake which is sador We take a look at the defense here from War Thug. Let's kind of break it down and see what they have going on here. We have currently Azak watching that objective, which is really good. It's really important to have someone at the objective and preventing a cap. We also have Mean Machine watching the Ice Lake side, which is the north part of the objective, preventing any pushes. Um, we also have the Fox watching this South Valley because you can you have to make sure you don't get flanked here, which is also really good. And then we have Annihilated pushed up a little bit farther too to prevent any kind of uh, pushes and kind of breaking down any momentum that they may gain up as well. So overall, you do have a pretty good defense um, so far. It is a little bit spread out. If you start to lose players um, in the center or in the north, it will be a little bit more challenging to get back to that objective in time if they are very fast and aggressive towards that objective. But what is nice... Oh. And a trade between Pink and and annihilated that was a close one i think pink got lucky there he did not have the advantage but pink got a lucky headshot there could be luck could be skill your call to make but either way they both got the trade up in the north we got sador watching this objective from afar i think he what what kind of gun is he using does he have like a four times I'm not sure but Michael's trying to get some shots onto the Fox here. The Fox is going for a flashbang. And he did get Michael right as he peeked there. Wow, and the Fox with a nice kill on the Michael as well. That was a great flash. And I think without that flash, he might have uh might have lost a uh might have lost a player there from Mortha. Making it a 2v4 here. So far, we have not seen any Marsoc round wins. So far, it's only been Volk. All the way in the north, we do have uh, Sador watching this objective, trying to get some shots. 
and easy picks. Fox is going to rotate a little bit, try and get into a better angle on that divot. Reyes just is trying to get as much information as he can. That information can include things like uh, audio, listening for footsteps or call outs that they might make. Um, information like how many players are alive or dead. Do I know where these players may or may not be and where is the subjective to? And information that his teammates may be giving him too as well. He does have a L8, LA80, 60, one of those guns. All it is is an LMG, so it's going to have a drum mag giving you extra rounds, extra firepower to land more shots. Now, he is hunting Fox, and oh, Fox spots him and shoots him first. Gracious was a little bit off on his aim, a little bit farther right, leaving it all up to Sador. Not in a great position here. He's getting shot by Sarcasm. And wow, look at that. What an interesting spot. He, he went down, duck, and he's got a M16 with a drum mag eight times and a bipod. How often do you see that loadout? That's an that's a interesting loadout there. Sador knows he's running out of time with only a minute remaining. He can't seem to land the shot under Sarcasm, so he's going to go ahead and push the aggression, try to move up, move locations, and get Sarcasm off guard here. Doesn't have much time. It's a 1v4 scenario here, ladies and gentlemen. Can he pull it off? Oh, and he got a great shot on Sarcasm, making it a 1v3. Make sure to make sure to confirm him. There you go. With the M9 to the head. Mean Machines is next target here. Will he hear his footsteps? He spots him. Gets the shot with the AK-12. Has to heal himself with 12 seconds remaining. Can he pull off the last two kills? I don't think he has time for it. As Fox is way off the objective. He doesn't have time to cap, nor does he have time to get the kill. But well done from Sador. He really went for it. And he was really close. Warthug does get the round win, though. Making it 2-2. Two to two. Well done. Well done. Whew. This is, uh, this is heating up a little bit. Very close. So let's take a look at the scoreboard. We got Pink OG with 4 kills, 3 deaths. Gracious going 0-2. The... The, is it the icy? Uh oh, I think I've been saying Felsi this whole time. I don't know if it's the icy or Felsi, because the I and the L is either a capitalized I or lowercase L. I don't know. The icy makes more sense, so I'm changing it up. The icy, icy is four and four. Sador with four and three, and Michael two and two. On War Thug, it is. Meme Machine with 1-3. Fox 7-2. Fox putting in the work. Sarcasm 1-2. Azak with 2-2. Two, two, and Annihilated with 3-4. Four, four. Man, I, I'm really curious now if it's the Icy or Felsi. I think it's the Icy. That makes more sense. Yeah. It's the Icy. Because it's... It, okay. Pretend like I didn't say Felsi this entire time. <laughs> that is a little embarrassing. All right, well let's um let's focus back onto the game here. We're hopping into our next round, round number five. New objective here. We are going to be in the north hangar. I'm, I'm right here. That sounds good. Some communication coming out early for fake, making sure that they're all in the right spots, on the right defenses. Yeah, I'm just going to hang on the other corner of this thing, but out of sight as well. We don't want to get... 
We don't want to get pinched outside of the objective, though. Fuck it, I'll go in. Whatever. No, no, no. I'll. I'll All I'll right. Go so let's take a look at Warthug here. They're gonna be taking a northeast oh approach, which honestly is a very strong move by a new team. That's a that's a an objective where if you get someone up in that northeast hill it's very difficult to stay hidden right here's where i'm talking about that valley see if one peaks michael right goes here. down grace just goes down possibly pink og goes down if he's too exposed he gets trapped right there and then icy's also not in a great spot he might be able to get some refrags here if they don't spot him but it's a it's a very dangerous spot let's see if what annihilated uh can do here if he can put in some work michael is trying to spot him i don't know if he got the call out i think he was just able to make it we got one coming down the hill and he cut off to the right yeah he was able to make that call out right there let's see what he what he's what he's able to do here far left hill he was coming down then he cut off to the right No, they so far they only have one person called out they do not have three if michael goes down they're only going to expect one and they're not going to put enough people on that uh on that location so we'll see how how this pans out meanwhile sador is the closest one to the marsoc at the moment fox is pushing up to sador and real quick, let's not forget what's happening all the way over here. We got sarcasm coming up in from the flank. Does he spot Sador? No, he can't see him. But Fox is going to be the first point of contact here with Sador. Sador finds Azic. With the flashbang, I think he might have gotten Fox. Annihilated did find Creatius from his spot. Sador finds Mean Machine. Two down. Sador not ready for Fox. Fox is going to come in from behind and get Sador, making it a 3v3 here. Annihilated does find Michael. He got two now. Just like I predicted, a very dangerous spot to defend when you have someone up in that north, northeast. The icy goes down by sarcasm, leaving it all up to Pink OG. Will he be able to clutch it up here and defend this objective by, by from three Marsoc players? Michael is down, was able to make some calls before he got confirmed there. Pink's got to make sure no one's pushing this objective here, and he's going to watch his back from sarcasm. He knows he's over there, but he doesn't know when he's going to peek. Shots ringing out from Annihilated. Pink misses it. Annihilated and coming from behind. Sarcasm's moving in. Same with the Fox. Oh, and Sarcasm finds Pink giving Warthug the advantage and points, making it 3 2. That was a pretty good round there. That's not an easy objective to defend either. If you do play your cards right on Marsoc, it can make it a little bit easier to attack by really clearing out the people on objective from that northeast. You have to pay attention. Sometimes it's very beneficial to send someone in that northeast and play a little bit closer. You really have to know your, your teammates, know their strong suits, and then know where to place them. It's another thing. Playing with the same people over and over can really improve your team as well because you know how everyone works as well. A lot of teams will have the same roster and they will always be at the top. They usually never drop down. You know, it's just why change if you know how your team performs and you perform well. So right now the Fox has eight kills. That is incredible. Annihilated with a five now. I think Annihilated had uh, two kills that last round. Sador with six, Icy four, Pink four, and Michael with two. We're, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting. We're going to see how Fake can come back from that. If they lose this next round, Warthug will take map one and we move on to map number two. 
So, with that being said, I think the only thing War or Fake could have done to have a better defense there is if they tucked themselves in a little bit more. They were a little bit more exposed and they got picked off pretty easily there. Round number six. Yeah, you're gonna need that smoke if you're going that way, so. Can fake win the map here with a cap? All they need to do is send the objective with the seven digit code and get two points to win the map here. Now, as I say that, look at Warthog's defense. A much better defense here, annihilated there to prevent that northeast push. Meanwhile, Mean Machine watching the objective from a very tucked in position, making it so fake has to come to them. Fox also in a really good, strong spot here. On objective, they have to kill Fox for them to send that code and sarcasm and azak also watching this ice lake approach this is a very very good defense here i think warthog might take this round and possibly win map number one right here fake's gonna have to play their best they have this map right here right now if they want to win this Don't make noise yet. I'll tell you when. So I think one of our uh, players here are going to be giving some distraction shots. I don't think it's icy. Might be Settler. Their, I until you hear noise. their idea is... They want the defense attention to be on the person shooting to allow the rest of their offense to move in at a closer combat and get the kills and clean up quick. It's kind of like a misdirection. You look one way and they come in from behind. The only problem is, will Warthug take the bait and actually peek on those shots? If not, it completely throws off Fake's plan. The only person they may see is Azak, and that is it. They push up a little bit farther, they'll come in contact with Annihilated. Alright, y'all keep going this way. I'm going to the left side, alright? Okay, go ahead. Now, they are very loud. Annihilated might have heard this. Smokes are coming out. Pink is going to be moving in. What's Pink going to come up with here? Will Mean Machine get Pink? Wow, Pink finds Mean Machine. Mean Machine was not ready for that. Annihilated does get Gracious. Michael finds Azak. Annihilated gets Michael. Pink gets Annihilated. What's happening? Minus two. You're right, he did get massacred. And look at that! Settlers at the objective, went right past Sarcasm. If he gets Fox, this might be a cap here. Smokes are ringing out. Sarcasm has to rotate. Fox is in the open. Settler gets Fox. Is he gonna go for a cap? Don't kill anyone. He's going for the code. He's gonna try and send it. Icy just fell off a mountain! And he caps it! He caps it and wins! Incredible! Well, well done. Let's replay that real quick. That is insane.
just look at icy <laughs> fall off the mountain too <laughs> but well done by bake for the win incredible let's go ahead and give fake those two extra points and the first map is over fake one the first map now we're at the map two it's not over yet let's go to map two map two is going to be subway for tonight let's go ahead and put that up on the screen personally i i've been loving subway recently it is just a great map oh well done let's 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 take a minute and let's watch a little highlight reel of what we have so far incredibly done by both teams such a close 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 map couldn't get any closer. And let's, I mean, just wow. Look at that flash. That was a great flash by Fox. And he was able to get the pick in the headshot by Michael too. And overall sec helping secure that round right here. Just a massacre of shots going out. And Pink really helping out their team for that cap. Really great communication, too. You could hear Sador say, do not kill anyone. And he was able to send that code within the within five seconds, which is incredible. Well done. And getting that win. Just insane. And like these, the flashes... The, the nades, just some some really good C4 placement. These teams are not playing like bronze division at all. My guess is both of these teams here tonight, both teams will be at least making silver, if not gold division by the end of the season. Just by watching that first map. Let's go ahead. Hop on in. Round number one of map two yeah. all right for our objective first objective we're gonna have this south uh south outside street here a new objective added recently to a new update and we have a really quick spawn by fake they're gonna try and get these shots here Sador already finds sarcasm on the push. Got some smokes too. Greatish is downstairs. He does have to watch out for Azak as he's placed over there as well. Pink OG is going to be approaching Fox here. And wow, is that a nade? And it is! What a great nade by Pink! Well nice done. Name. Yeah, it was. Azak right does find Icy, though, downstairs. Smoke's coming out from Mean Machine, trying to move his position. King's going for the pre-fire. Let's add some lasers. Mean Machine and Michael trade. Another flashbang going out. No one's on the objective. Annihilated's not watching it. He's distracted by Sador. We could see a cap here. Sador finds Annihilated. Azak rotates, gets pink. Will Sador confirm? Or will Azak shoot Sador? Call out's been made. Azak knows where Sador is. If he has a really good smoke placement here. Through the nade. Oh, and Azak finds Sador. Unfortunately, leaving it all up to Grayishus. It's a 1v1, ladies and gentlemen. Who will come out on top? Leave your predictions. Will it be Gray? Or will it be Azak? 93. Leave them in the chat. Let's get some hype going up in here. Let's get the chat interactive. Let's see what everyone thinks. 
Thank you everyone for tuning in. Grayish just, just drops his tablet. Realizes he dropped his tablet. <laughs> there you go. You got it. There you go, bud. All right, as what you got in store? Gray heard the shots. He knows where he might be. Oh, and he's in a good spot. Play it slow, Gray. Crouch down and play it very, very slow. Azak does not know where you are. He does not hear you. You are making too much noise. If you guys are not, did not know, if you are walking, you will make footsteps. If you are crouching, you'll make footsteps. You have to be extremely slow. And Azak heard the footsteps and got the round win. Warthug up one, fake down zero. Let's take a look at that um, quick replay. Well, uh, you guys can't really see it that well. <laughs> uh, we'll pull it up on the, the screen real quick. Got a great nade by Pink right there. Just look at that. Perfectly thrown and timed. Did not give Fox enough time to rotate out of there as well. Take a look back here on the scoreboard. We can see that right now, Fake is four, Warthug is three, map one. Map two, Warthug is one, Fake is zero. If you guys did not know, um, we have two rounds with the same uplink. So the last round we were in the South Street and the next round will be in the South Street as well. When you play in a competitive lobby, the objective moves every two rounds. So both sides will play the same objective and then it always switches. It's really nice to remember these key details of where your opponents like to play and how they play. So you can really, you know, put that knowledge into your next round moving forward. Spamming is blow up. Okay, just like this. All right. I'm so mad about that. Round number two. Trust me, I am too. Because I got stuck on those stupid boxes over there, and I couldn't get out. <laughs> yep. Boxes will kill you. Once again, same spawn here. Oh, and a trade between Pink and Annihilated. When you had the same reaction time. Michael was able to push up. I don't think Sarcasm and Mean Machine were able to catch this. Michael's got a good angle and if you notice this is why Michael has this angle because if you're going to be walking up that staircase you are looking in the direction you're walking and not behind you if Michael to watch this location they would be looking at him already making it a more even even um advantage Michael's trying to give himself the advantage by shooting him in their backs but he got a little impatient and he decided to peek a little bit more than he had to. Gave himself a little bit, gave his uh, opponents a little bit more um, more time to react. C4 goes off and does not get anyone. The 3v4, fake down a player. Fox is right on the other side of Sador here and finds Azak. He's not dead yet, though. He's only downed.
Flash goes out. Does flash Fox? Does the nade get him? No, it doesn't. He does get the kills on the Fox. And Icy finds Mean Machine. All up to Sarcasm here. And Sador finds Sarcasm, making it a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, I'd like to quickly thank everyone for tuning in. I see we've got Durafin, Fog Cabin, Tiger King. We got Soldiers in here, Brody, VR Immersions, Silent Night. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in and many more. So far, it's been a great, 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 great game. Cannot, not complain. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the scoreboard. We got five kills from Sador and one death. He's really put in the work this map. Azak going five and oh. I mean, he did have that down last round, but it was never confirmed. Meanwhile, we got two kills from Pink, two kills from Mean Machine, one kill from Icy, Michael, and Annihilated. For two completely new teams, this is definitely an interesting match. I think it's something that uh, everyone might learn a little bit more about, you know, looking at the more unexpected spots to come out. For the next objective, we are going to have the North Staircase objective here on round number three. Let's see how War Thug wants to play this objective here. Looks like Fox is going to push up this north staircase. It's going to have a team waiting for him called Marsok. Now Fox has a nade. Everyone look for your C4. Oh. Back up, back up. Flashbang went too far over the wall. Fox goes down. We're clear from C4s. Sador does push very fast into the basement here, coming in from underneath. Will he be able to clean up a couple guys from below? Oh, shit. The, the biggest fuck? concern Bless. right now is to... I didn't fucking do the thing. Clear out Mean Machine I and Azak. I pulled the pin. I didn't fucking flick it. It's okay. There's a lot of smoke here. I threw mine. mine. And horrible throws by Fake. All it would take is one player from Warthog to run up there and they would all be dead. Sadhor's in a great spot until he just died there. Nylid was able to pick him off from the north horseshoe there. Icy gets downed by Mean. Three v four. Sarcasm. Downs annihilated, not knowing it's a team teammate there with the friendly fire, and it confirms him. Oh oh, three v three. Fake is now going for the rotate, coming in from another point of view. They're gonna come in from the horseshoe. In the north. A good angle onto sarcasm. Now, if you're curious what these players look like to people in VR, 
They look like this. They have no user interface. They have nothing over their body. No names, no nothing. You have to know by pure uniform who your enemy is. This is what he sees. Can I get you to go down those other stairs and clear out the uh, south side? Michael just team killed Gray. Oh. Hey, was that him talking? Is he down? Oh, wait, no, that's your background noise. Yeah. Hey. Alright. Right, that's Gray. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. Oh my That's gosh. God damn it. All right. Well, two team kills on both sides, making it a 2v3 with two minutes remaining. Pink goes down by sarcasm. He's proning. Left side. And Michael cannot get the confirm on the sarcasm for the refrag. Unfortunate round by fake. Warthug does take that round. Giving them another point. Two to one. I, <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> that team kill earlier. Oh boy. It happens, guys. It happens. I love I loved how he goes. I got one down. He tried to come in from behind. Uh, happens to the best of us. Happens at every every division level. All right. Well, so far it's been a pretty uh pretty interesting round uh map so far. I mean, it's been a little bit close here and there. That last round, uh, I mean, the north objective can be arguably a difficult one to defend. But with the right Marsoc team, it can be an easy cap as well. All you have to do is clear out that north, put smoke on it, and then boom. Time to, time to, time to cap. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the scoreboard once again. 5-2 from Saddle. 0-3 from Michael, 1-2 by Icy, 0-3 Gracious, 3-2 Pink. Warthug, we got 3-2 Mean Machine, 0-3 Fox, 1-2 Sarcasm, 5-0 Azak, and 2-3 Annihilated. All right, next round, round number four. Back of objective, all right. Michael, okay. can you prone in that Coke machine in that back corner and watch the stairs? Uh you think I can yeah, go with you to the horseshoe so I can stay behind one of the what's what's machines head? up there? That, that's 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 okay. too many people so here. Places, we'll need to go somewhere else. Stairs, where we got shot last time. I'm gonna okay. stand right here. So there. um, I'll make sure they don't stairs. cross. Do not shoot, please. We're up there. Do not shoot. Let, let me know. This is fair. Do not do not shoot from the stairs. Okay. I'm gonna stand back here. Gray does not quite seem like he knows what he wants to do. Meanwhile, we have uh. We got Sarcasm and Fox slowly approaching this north staircase. Now, what I really want to see is a really well done push in that north staircase and a cap attempt too. Icy's in a good spot to hear footsteps if they want to come through the north. And Warthog is playing slow enough that they should not be able to hear him. Pretty cinematic shot here. We like it. We like it. All right, back to the back to the action. Let's take a look at the mini map here. 
We got a pretty spread out defense. I think this is going to be one that's going to bite them in the butt. Annihilated does get pink OG though. Hey, thanks. In the horseshoe. The only one that's really going to be defending this this north, I feel like, is going to be Michael. I feel like even if Michael goes down, Gray is not going to quite watch the uh, angle right here. I feel like he's going to leave it open for a cap. Let's see how Fox and Starcasm approach this. Using utility to make this corner. Preventing uh, any... Uh, and the easy kills, which is good. Mean Machine is on the subway station level floor, though, here. He's gonna have to watch out for Sador and the Icy. Smokes are going out. Now, if you pay attention, Fox is playing prone because he knows that he'll have the highest advantage or an even advantage of getting the first shot off if he's prone. If you're prone, you'll be able to see their feet first before their head, which means their head won't be able to see you before you see them. So, oh, but a really bad smoke throw by Sarcasm. Good enough, though, for Fox to still be able to probably get a shot off here. On the Higgins. And he does. Downs Higgins. Get the confirm. Doesn't get the confirm. C4 goes off by Gray. Sador finds Annihilated. Will he also in front of me. get Mean? I think Icy's going to go ahead and get that, that pick onto Mean. If Azek doesn't find him first, Warthog are playing really well on this round. Sador finds Azak though. Making it a 3v3. All it's going to take here now is for Fox or Sarcasm to get the shot. They do confirm Michael, though. I don't think Gray is going to peek that corner. I think it's going to allow for a cap. Sarcasm does go down. Now, Gray might not expect Fox here. Mean finds Icy, making a 2v2. Fox should be going for cap here. And Gray just left that angle. Fox is trying to get the shots onto Gray's hand. Sador is going to rotate to objective. Smokes out. Out of ammo. Oh, man. Fox finds Gray. Will he get Sador? Oh, and a nade! Gets Fox! Wow! <laughs> well done with a great nade please tell me i got that and i did well done thank you pack for being the first time chatter appreciate that wow that was that was a good nade there incredible making it two to two I forgot what I already have the scoreboard at. We'll take a look at this real quick. 2-2. Two, two. There we go. Man, a fake has just been pulling out these incredible plays all game long.
all game long. It's just insane. It, it's it's hard to say who is gonna win overall. Like I don't think I've ever seen a matchup this close from two teams that have never played each other before, that have never played in a competitive scene either. This is one of very few. One of very, very few. <sighs> Hopping in to the next round here. Round number five. And this is going to be my favorite objective here on Subway. This is the central objective. Pretty much in the smack dab middle of the map. This is a very fun one because there's two main places that most people cap. One, behind the navigation panel. And then two, behind the pillar. Right behind the coke machine. Making it a little bit tricky to defend. Most, people, most players play where Annihilated is. Um, as well as pretty much tucked in here. But all it takes is a really good offense, and it's an easy cap. I'm going to clear this side. We got two players approaching from the horseshoe. And then we got two players going in from underneath, and then Icy actually pretty much right here getting... Cover fired by Azak here. Azak does not want him to cross. Now, it should be enough information for Icy to know where he is and get the pre fire out. He's going to toss a nade. Too short. Or no, it's a flash. It might have gone Azak. With another flashbang. Not enough. Azak was able to recover from that flash in time. Gray is just waiting for a flank while Sador is trying to get some peeks here. Pink is approaching Sarcasm and making his way up that staircase. But Mean Machine with a really good angle, actually, on that staircase entrance. I haven't seen that one quite before. He could definitely hear Sador coming in. Sador's not quiet enough. But Pink with the great smoke on a Sarcasm's position. Mean Machine does find Sador and, and Annihilated is trying to keep Michael Higgins from peeking that corner. I think Annihilated might find Michael here. And I think War Thug might get the defensive win. The first map, four points went to Fake, three maps to, or three points to War Thug. Sarcasm downs Mean Machine. Michael finds Adzak. Back to a 3v3 here. Oh, and Sarcasm gets pink. Sarcasm does not have a lot of cover, but he is in a very odd position. It's not one that you can easily pre-fire and know exactly where that defense player is going to be at. Michael's definitely trapped here. He can't quite escape with Annihilated watching that angle. He's going to have to wait for his teammate to try and get an easy pick off of him. See, he, any way he goes. Gracious does confirm Mean Machine, though. Oh, and Michael injures Annihilated, but he's still standing and able to shoot back. Will Fox peek him here? Oh, but Michael finds Annihilated. This could be what Fake needs to get a cap. Gracious finds Sarcasm. All that's left is Fox. A push on the objective, and it's a cap, and it's map. It's game. Go for it, Michael. Do it. You know you want it. Oh, and he's on objective. Oh, if he was just back a little bit more right here, he could have capped it. And gotten the, the game win. Oh.
all up to Grayicious, who is currently three and four on this map. Thought process of an esports player named Grayishus. What does he do? He could he heard the shots from Fox. I don't think he has an accurate kill count knowing that there's one player left. Will he know that he just needs his attention on Fox, or does he know that he can push that objective and go for a cap? The real question is he is he confident in his skills to send the code too? Because that takes a lot too. It takes a lot. You can hear Gracious is breathing. An intense moment. It's, uh, it's a lot of stress, a lot of intense. It's not easy to do to play esports. He's got 40 seconds remaining. And he's making a lot of footsteps. He's moving too quick. Fox can definitely hear him. I think Fox might get the kill here, guys. Gracious is watching the wrong angle. Down goes Gracious and Fox bringing his team to a match point at 3-2. Woo! Mean Machine with 5 and 4, Fox 3 and 4, Sarcasm 3 and 4, Azak 6 and 2, Annihilate 3 and 5. Meanwhile, Pink with 3 and 4, Gracious 3 and 5, Icy 1 and 4, Sador 9 and 3, and Michael 2 and 5. Real quick, let's uh let's go over some recently played matches and recaps. Legionnaires beat Patron Saints 13-6. Pantheon beat Hell from Above 10-4. Insidious beat Scum 12-1. Blackwatch beat Cold Steel 12-4. Resin Mafia beat Notorious 10-5. Peacekeepers beat Ember 12-1. Raptors beat Arrow 404, 12 to 3. Alchemist beat Fake, 10 to 8. Raw Meat beat Timberwolves, 10 8. Animal House beat Vanquerers, 9 to 9. The Monks beat Oper Operation 1, 13 3. Toaster Strudels beat Illusionist, 12 4. Dark Hidings beat West Coast Originals, 13 2. Pickles beat VR Loyal Dogs 12 to 1. Latin Force beat Illusionist 10 7. Lasobros beat Blackwatch 11 6. And the rest we will say later. Possibly. Unless I forget. Round number 6. Oh, what are we missing for? oh wait, no, I'm going horseshoe. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, exactly. You're watching tunnels. I don't know. I'm not the C4 guy. Sounds like somebody's got some C4, probably Sator. My best guess. You're gonna place it at this tunnel? Does he have it? I don't, I don't see it, but he did make the call out north. Not sure what that's supposed to mean. I mean, they only ever have one spawn on this kind of objective, but okay. Was it icy with the C4? It is. You can see the clacker on his chest. C4 is somewhere. But where? Ah, oh, there it is. What a great spot. He might be able to get annihilated in Fox, but down goes annihilated. Or, uh, Michael. Three person push up in the horseshoe. This looks like it might be War Thug's map here. Azak's gonna be the first one. 
to approach Pink's line. And Azak's gonna have utility to use on him. He's got to smoke. Is he gonna smoke Pink's spot? Yes, he is. Puts Pink in a bad position now. A little bit of pre-fire and Pink might get a few. Oh, and he finds Sarcasm, and he gets Azak with a nice double kill. Well done there. Let's rotate over here to Icy now. See what his position and status is with Annihilated and Fox. Both going prone on our staircase. Smart move. Very pro stats there. Now, how's Mean Machine going to approach this? He just lost two players up there at the edge of Horseshoe. C4 just went off by Icy. Does not catch anyone. He was not... Did not have it in the right spot. Annihilated is calling out where Icy's position is. He knows he's in that room. They're going to approach this the right way. I think Pink might come in contact with Mean Machine as well in a second here, too. So we're going to have two things to watch. Pink's actually going to watch annihilate his position. He's going to peek that corner. Watch that south staircase. Will he catch him, though? Lasers are crossing paths. Don't cross the streams. Oh, and a trade between Icy and Annihilated. Pink's got some trouble up here from Mean Machine now, but he's going to rotate into a safer position. It's 3-2 to two right now. Icy might be able to make the call out that he got one trade, and there's one right outside from him. Fox confirms Icy. Will Sador get the refrag? He's got a good angle on him. He's just got to be careful that he doesn't get shot from Mean Machine in the back. Mean Machine's going to take a different approach here. And he's going to have to watch out for Grayicious from that angle too. It's going to be a tough, tough offense move now from Warthug. Making it a 2v3 and their both positions are exposed. Using smokes to kind of give himself some more cover and, and uh, playroom here. Lucky bounce off that sign or else it, was in, it would have gone in a really bad position here. Will Pink spot Fox? And he does. Down goes Fox. All up the mean machine here to keep this game in play. Taking his time with a minute and 25 seconds left. last 30 seconds mean machine is spent in this corner he's probably gonna get shot from grayish's here let's see three two one shoot oh <laughs> wrong person shooting but it's still technically right <laughs> all right fake gets that point keeping it tied three three Three, three. How is this going to play out? Not sure, not sure. Well, we can continue on with the last matches of recently past. Um, big ones to note, beginners did beat boss fight 10 to 8. Uh, Silent Purge beat Phantoms 11 to 5. Arrow 404 beat Dark Matter 9 to 8. And I'm actually, now I'm reading... I was reading season 11 a little bit. Let's uh, rewind a little bit. We, we, we said everything. We, we, we covered it all. Okay. Um, 
aside from that, let's talk about future matches that are going on. Um, right now, current matches that are playing is we have Dark Matter versus Blaze. We have LF Jaguars versus Strive. Uh, we have Illusionist versus Spaces Aces. Uh, Excommunicado versus After Hours. Uh, Ambition versus Homeland Esports. Um, starting tomorrow, Friday, October 29th, 7.30 a.m., is pack one versus k fought pack one has been a team that man where have they been they came back all of a sudden they're they're an old team they used to play now they're back very interesting new objective ladies and gentlemen we are downstairs round number seven this is the hardest objective to attack here. Right now, it's War Thug's favor. All they have to do is play tight, not expose themselves too much, and they got this. What is Sarcasm doing? Okay. <laughs> not quite sure what's going on there. And another team kill. Right there. On to Grayicious. Holy shit, dude. I thought there was a I thought it was a dude peeking from the other side of the coke machine. <laughs> wow. Very slow round here. And Sador finds Sarcasm as Annihilated finds Icy in the meantime. Sador finds uh, Azak. 3v4. Oh, and he almost finds Fox. That was a really strong push there by Sador. Let's go ahead and quickly rewatch that one while we have the time. Now it's all up to three players remaining. Fox, Me Machine, and Annihilated. Annihilated in an interesting spot here. Haven't seen this one before. Definitely exposed to the north, but he should be able to hear footsteps behind him if that was the case. Dis-moi-le si ça push, ok? Very, very slow round.
thank you once again for everyone tuning in. Venom, Arafan, Hack32216. Uh, we also have players like Silent Knight. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for all of our moderators as well. Thank you, Dazzler, for watching. Soldiers, Kevin, Maddie, Mike, Gamer. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it all. And keep watching. Oh, well, Annihilated spot out Pink and Michael. He does, but who's he going to shoot first? Oh, Gray does find Annihilated, though. And Michael can get revived. Unfortunate for Annihilated. That would have been a huge, right, huge play Michael. there. Real question is, can Fox and Mew Machine hear this plan? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Everything's okay. Let's see what Pink, Michael, and Gray come up with. I heard a flash and moving right and left. What you need here are smokes, not flashes. Fox is in a good spot here, too. Pink finds Fox. All up to me, Machine, to clutch up this game. Oh, and a trade! Fake actually win! Well done! Props to that team. Me Machine, six and six. Fox, five and seven. Sarcasm, three and six. Art, uh, Azak, six and four. Annihilated, five, seven. Uh, Saddle with 11 and four. Pink, seven, four. Gracious, five and five. Icy, two and six. And Michael, four and seven. Well done by Fake. They win the series. There is still one more round left to be played. The underdogs, though, have taken this series. Well done. Let's do a quick little recap of that last round. That last map, actually. With a great nade as well there. Incredible, incredible play by Pink. And Sador with the nades. All of these just helping their team every inch of, of the way. saddle with that great great push that really got them that little bit of advantage there to to close in that last map well done well done hop on over to the scoreboard and for map number three we are going to be playing cargo everyone that is correct cargo yep yippers this is going to be a close quarter combat map, a really good map to really, you know, tune in on your your skill as well. It takes a lot of work and effort to really, you know, not lose sight of what your objective is and not to have tunnel vision too. You got to make sure that you are aware of everything because things will happen real quick on this map. So sounds like we're gonna be hopping into our first round of the last map now as, even though the series is over you still have to play your best because it's gonna matter folks already coming out this is gonna be the diamond objective in between the cargo craze this is gonna be a tough one here not easy. Already, Sador already finds Azak. Making it a 5v4. Oh, I just found a new shortcut in this. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, Fox finds the Icy. Right 
Take a look over here. Got Michael and Sador teamed up on each other. One nade and they're both down. It's a 4v4. Looting their teammate. Their dead body. Warthug playing a little bit slower. Annihilated in the open. Michael finds Sarcasm. Oh, but Annihilated gets the refrag on the Michael. Sarcasm is revivable, but will a teammate go for it? Smoke's coming out. I think Annihilate is going to go for that revive. Yes, he is. Binks watching this corner here. Will he get Mean Machine? But Annihilate is moving up these tunnels and finds Grayicious at the same time, leaving it all up to a 2v4. Binks got a rotate, so if Sador goes down, it could be a cap from Warthug. And this is where tunnel vision gets you. Pink is too focused on me machine that he might get capped on here. He is rotating back pretty quick, and Warthug's not that fast on the on the objective here. Will Fox get pink? Smoke's coming out on objective. Pink does get mean machine, but sarcasm finds pink. And Warthug get round one. Well done from Warthug that round. They played a little bit slow. They got their picks when they needed them. And they got the good revive too, which really helped them out in the long run too. Well done from Warthug, making it 1-0. Let's see if Warthug can win in points this series. You know, they lost the series, but they can really keep their MMR at a pretty strong number if they take all these rounds here on this map. That's what really matters here. Fake did win the series though. So right now they are 1-0 in Season 12 while Warthog is 0-1. But that doesn't mean that they're going to get placed too high amongst other teams. Unless they really try and shut them out this map. So I figured out how to get rid of that little map. I've been casting for, what, a year and a half now? Didn't know you could do that. Pretty sweet. I'm going to do that for now on. Because I feel like it constantly gets in the way. <laughs> Honestly. But. Alright. Let's 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 take a look at the, the match here. And see pretty much what the votes were for which team would win. Real quick. I don't think we had anyone do this. Which I guess is partially my fault here. Uh, we'll save that for another another game um but it looks like we had a total of give me a second give me a second thirty to six warthog had thirty votes and fake had six votes on this game so well done to fake for showing uh Showing who's boss. Oh my goodness. That was such a great nade. Sadly, they only got Azak and not Mean Machine there. Starcasm finds Grayisha. Sador gets Mean Machine. Sador gets annihilated. What a great push from Sador. It gets confirmed by Fox, making it a 2v3. Sarcasm's off objective. All it takes is for one person to push that objective and get a cap. And Fake will get two point advantage. We'll get the, the one point advantage all up to Fox now. Flash is throwing out right now. Fox is in a pretty good spot to prevent caps, but still possible. Icy pushes. Gets downed by Fox. Fox has to heal now all up to Michael. Secure the point now. Oh, and Michael finds Fox, making it one-one. Man, this is this is just back and forth points.
So right now, these teams are currently not ranked. Uh, to be ranked in Season 12 at the moment, you have to have played three total games to get a matchmaking rank, uh, which is also stands for MMR. That's what really puts teams above other teams. If you look at the standings right now, the way teams are ranked is by uh, how their points differences, how many, or not points differences, how many points they've earned in their matches. So if a team who is ranked, uh, who, who is like just started out, they're a bronze division, they've never played anything, and their first game, they got 12 points. Um, and a team that's been playing for 10 seasons, they played a very difficult team who's ranked number two previous season, and it was only nine points and they won. That team who just started out would be placed higher at the moment. Once three matches are played from both teams, that's when that team that just played that's new just gets placed back lower. So really it all depends on after you played three matches. There's a huge algorithm for matchmaking ranking that involves round wins, the difficulty of the team, you know, caps, ties, all that. We're on round number three. Let's go ahead and see how this one goes out. We have a new objective now. Right here up in the north. Very classic objective. Nade's been thrown out. And Sa Sador with a really good frag on the Fox. So, mean Machine trying to get some pre-fires in the grayish as he knows he's somewhere over there. Sador really close to annihilated. Mean Machine team kills Azak. Another team kill. That's our third one in this match. Sador gets the frag on the Mean Machine. Cleans him up after that team kill. Sarcasm and Grayus trade. Now it's all up to Annihilated. Will Sador get the revive? And then will the confirm go out onto Sarcasm? Sador revives Grayus. Just will they double tap Sarcasm? Knife him. Nope, shoot him. Okay. Sorry, take a kill. Okay. All up to annihilated now. D4 blows. Oh, and Sador annihilated trade. They kind of like a little stare down there. Fake with the advantage 2 1. All right. Well done. Fake is keeping it strong. Sador with eight kills and three deaths. Just. All games, Sador has been putting in the work. He has been getting so many kills and really breaking down the defense on Marsoc to allow his team to push in strategically and take that round. And I believe Sador also had the cap on round on map one that got the win from Snow Peak. It was three, three, two. Fake were down, and he got the cap. It was great play we're gonna see it again at the end of this stream we're gonna play a whole highlight reel so make sure you guys stay here uh i can see we got quite a few viewers in make sure you stay to the end because we're gonna have a whole highlight reel of all the great plays of this game and we're gonna break them down a little bit for you too so don't leave quiet yet i know the series has technically been finished with fake winning we still have this last map remaining and then we still have our highlights left too map number Three, round number four, five, four. One, I, I have called this. I called this. I have one more. Yeah. 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 That's how you know you're loud is when Whatever. your mic cannot, <laughs> cannot Pink? understand what you're saying. Both teams are bronze at the moment as they have not played any VRML matches on Onward at all. Michael might get a shot onto Azak. He does. Sarcasm finds Pink. Me Machine finds Michael, making it a 3v4 already. Icy's in a pretty good spot here to get Sarcasm. Sarcasm's really a dark player, so it's really hard to tell if he's a shadow of a player will Sador take the shot to find out he won't 
This is what he sees in that corner. No name, no nothing. Fox finds Icy and Sador. The great shot there. All up to Gracious. I just I think I hear a car outside Gracious's window. Just honking. How is Gracious gonna approach this? He's gonna have to keep getting picks and rotating back and forth as he doesn't have his teammates to cover his back and push an angle. Utility will also be helpful too. Me machine does find Grayicious and does tie it back up two to two. Well done. Fox with six kills right now and two deaths. Doing an incredible job. So I recently just noticed that pack one has actually made a return back to the league. They they took a bit of a hiatus there for a while. And we haven't seen them and since season. What was it? Season 10? Possibly. I'm going to double check that because I'm not too sure. But I do remember pack one. I do remember Irish Wolf. I remember uh, not Sterling. I remember Sterling's friend. I I just it's a it's a what was it an Austrian Austrian team from Austria. But right now it shows that this is their first season, starting. Um, but because so I think they had to create a new, um, whole new pro team profile. They must have lost the information for their old one. So they are going to be placed back into the bronze division, but surely they'll, if they are playing the same as they did before, they should rise back up to at least silver, maybe gold. Um, so. Hopping into the next round, round number five. Okay, let's go. Rush Brothers. We started on Hulk, so we really want to win these fucking kids. Let's see how our Marsoc team, War Thug, is going to approach this here. They're waiting for Sador gonna, to peek this. Oh, and a trade comes out between Sador and Annihilated. Smoke in the worst place ever to land. Doing absolutely nothing. Oh man, sarcasm spotted Icy. I don't think Icy's gonna be able to get a pick here or even a trade. Oh, and down goes Icy from Fox. Try to get the flash out in time. War Thug's now up four to three. Meme Machine already pushing up. The last three players are in the back of the objective here. Gray is just not in a great spot. <laughs> gray, gray, great. Uh, mainly because if they push into this red container, they can send that code. It's within that distance there. Inside of that red crate. Speaking of which, they're making that call out now. Michael's gonna rotate over here, trying to get a better view of that crate. Really good spot from Michael, preventing a push. Gotta be careful of Azak though, because that's where he's most likely gonna get shot from, is from that that little cross over there. Take a look at the map real quick. We got a pretty uh, well lined up team from Marsoc, uh, all timed in together as well, very evenly. Smokes are coming out though. They're really gonna try and push up the side here. Michael's not ready for it. Oh, but he does find Mean. Wow, with his pants down, he does find Mean Machine. But Azak does get the refrag onto Michael instead. 
making it a 3v2. Box is approaching this. Will Pink spot him here? Does Pink hear him using his utility? I think Pink's just watching this angle. I don't think he wants to peek at all, afraid that someone's watching him and then just getting a trade overall. He wants to stay alive. He doesn't want to trade. He wants to stay in for the count. Fox is not checking his corner. All it's going to take is a quick little glance over at him. Grayish just trades with sarcasm. And he gets it. Wow, and a great double by Pink. Securing fake another round win. Wow, that patience paid off for Pink. If he did peek and got that shot onto Sarcasm or onto Fox, he probably would not have gotten to Azak there. Wow, that was just telling you patience is key a lot of times. <laughs> Stator doesn't touch grass. We confirmed it. I mean, he's got nine kills and five deaths. He's doing great. But Fox at the same time is also doing fantastic, being eight and three. Both of these players probably both kind of carrying their team a little bit in terms of kills, but the kills aren't everything when it comes to Onward. Communication is key. Protecting the objective is just as important as well as sending the uplink. I think I just broke the VR Master League website. No, there we go. Okay, we fixed it. We're good. It was my fault. So we're going to go to our standings. We're going to double check on this pack one because I'm really curious. On season 10, was pack around? Don't see them in season 10. Round number six, guys. If Fake win this round, it's all over for this series. Smoke's ringing out. Free fire coming out onto Mean Machine. They're going to play aggressive here. They're pushing it in a nade. Right on him. Oh, <laughs> Grayicious. Took the kill from that great nade. Sador's pushing up in that smoke. Azak finds Michael. But Sador can push up even farther. Will Pink get taken out by Annihilated? He misses. Causes the rotation. Annihilated finds Sador. Pink's even farther up. Oh, and Annihilated also finds Pink. Another great play by Annihilated. Box finds Icy. Making it a 1v4. All up to Grayicious here. Not looking too good for Fake. He does find Annihilated, though, with that patience. Well done. Oh, and Gracious finds Fox, keeping himself in this. Annihilated did get to re get revived though, and Annihilated did not spot spot him crossing. Gracious might have made the call out to Annihilated unless he wasn't able to spot him though. We do have a flint coming in from Azak. Oh, and Gracious got tagged from behind, not yet able to heal. Kind of just a little bit confused and, and panicking and sarcasm finds Gray is just tying it back up. 3-3. Three, three. Oh my goodness, it's just back and forth with points here. So I just confirmed it. Pack one started off season six, came and finished all the way up to season eight, and have made the return for season twelve. They will have a different roster though as they had before. The only players that are continuing to stay, I believe is Irish Wolf, 
bullet ant. Um, and that is pretty much it. There's only two players from pack one that are going to return to season 12. We've got one last round ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this one pans out. We are going to be changing objectives again back into the south. We're going to be behind. Uh, we're going to be next to the propane tank. This is a very interesting objective and one that can be capped on pretty easily with a lot of smoke. You have to be very, very smart on this defense. And Fake will be defending here. Right now, they have Volk advantage. All they have to do is watch one angle and they can win. Warthug has to make it to that objective within six minutes or else they lose the round. This game is onward. This is a first person shooter milsim game. Round number seven. It's not really for all the marbles. We already won. <laughs> Don't get too cocky now. Nades going out. Azak finds Michael already on the push. Pink finds sarcasm, making it back tied oh, no. four to four. Getting the confirm too. got flashes out on the objective and Azak's gonna be pushing will Icy hear him he's not quite in that container Icy's just around the door he's playing impatient waiting for him to, to approach him and Sador is actually gonna be inside this tunnel waiting for everyone to cross behind him to come in for the flank I believe has to be careful with that because he is pretty far off objective and Annihilated finds Grayishus and Grayishus gets team killed by pink and now we're down to two or Grayish just gets killed after team killing Pink. Flash out, misses Azak. Annihilated finds Icy all up to Sador. Sador finds two, he finds three! But unfortunately, he goes down. And Warthug take that last map, making it four to three. Wow. Let's go ahead and give Warthug. I think I was maybe off on those points a little bit. 4-3 there. Well done. Let's quickly do a recap of that last round's highlights. And then we'll do a final montage of all of our round's highlights as well. What a great nade from Sador onto Azak. And shortly after, he goes in and cleans up that pile. Confirms Azak, kills Mean Machine, and trades with Annihilated as well with a nice three-piece. Meanwhile, Pink has a really good shot to win the round and tie it and give them advantage, getting both Azak and the Fox. We have another great play here of a almost great nade opportunity by Sador, sadly shut down by Grayish just right at the last second. And then Azak finding Michael. Annihilated finds Sador and finds Pink. The great two piece. Icy goes down by Annihilated. And then Sador with the three piece at the end, almost coming in clutch to win the last map. Well done. Let's quickly compile our final highlights of that match. Such a close, close game. The score is officially 
tied with or not tied actually it's eight that's 11 to 10 very close indeed though very very close let's pull up these videos drop them in here and let's go ahead and watch this from the beginning this is a quick recap of what you might have missed just now joining in icy with a great two piece to get that round win following up from an awesome c4 kill Sador coming around the corner with a nice flash on the sarcasm on Snow Peak. Another great move here by the Fox with the with the fantastic flash just getting Michael, causing him to duck in and getting a nice pick onto his head from that corner rotation. Another great move from the pink onto Mean Machine while Michael gets Azak. Pink also follows up and gets annihilated, giving an opportunity for a cap. The score was 3-2 at this point. Sadar moves in on the objective and insanely gets a cap. Ignore Icy falling off the mountain, but Sador goes in, gets the cap, and clutches Snow Peak, making it 4-3, getting them that round win, preventing them from having to play another round. Now onto map two, Subway. We have a great nade toss by Pink into the corner, catching Fox, Fox with a great timing, preventing him enough, giving him enough time to rotate out. Fox gets Grayicious, but Sador with a nice nade throw once again, right into the corner with a little hop, skip, bounce, and boom, Fox goes down, giving him that round win once again. Pink with a nice double kill here after being smoked from the horseshoe. Pink gets Sarcasm in the head and Azak in the head once again with his AK-12. Once we go to the next one, we see Sador coming in from the basement, finding himself two kills, almost getting himself a third, but giving his teammates enough wiggle room to go in and finish off the round. On the map three, we have Sador with a fantastic nade, getting Azak there once again. We've seen it once before. We've seen it again. Sator goes in, cleans up the team, gets himself a nice three-piece right here. Right after Sarcasm does down Grayicious. Then, once again, Pink OG does find Fox and Azak at the same time with a nice double kill because of his patience, giving them that round win. And then finally, actually not finally, I forgot this. It's just so many good clips. I forgot about this one. We have another fantastic nade by Sador. Probably, what, his third or fourth nade here? Almost getting Mean Machine stopped by Grayicious. Azak getting Michael and then Annihilated cleaning up with a nice double kill here. Getting both Sador and Pink shutting down a really tough push there. And then... Last but not least, Icy getting downed by Annihilated and Sador getting a three-piece to almost clutch the final map, making it 12 to 9. But War Thug does get that last round win. Let's hop back to the scoreboard. And I would like to once again thank you guys all for watching and i really appreciate it everyone for sticking in here once again i do want to thank once again all of our sponsors that includes downpour interactive the many folks who put in a lot of time to make on what it is today pro tube vr for some amazing gun stocks that feel great and work great vr cover for some amazing high quality um, hygiene and comfort materials for your headsets. We have HyperX for fantastic mics, fantastic headsets, and other accessories you can buy for your gaming setup. Border Foods, one of the largest Taco Bell franchises in the nation, joining force with us so that we have access to a flexible schedule for our tournaments with awesome, awesome employee meals like complimentary tacos. Who does not like tacos? Come on, come on. Asterion with fantastic products for Oculus Quest headset and other headsets too, like headset stands. Rebuff Reality for some great, awesome, pretty sweet 
nice, fantastic, amazing, neato battery packs for your headsets too to make sure you stay charged for extra long esports competitions. Cyber shoes to make yourself more in tune to your virtual reality. Arma for our awesome apparel and jerseys that you can get. VR wear for some pretty sweet t-shirts, just like the one that I made for their company as well. And then B haptics for some more immersion to feel every shot you take and onward as well. So thank you to all those sponsors. Thank you for all of our mods. Thank you for all of our governors. Thank you for everyone who helps out in VR Master League. Thank you for everyone who is watching as well. Can't do this without you. Thank you to everyone who supports us. And I appreciate you all. Once again, thank you for everyone joining in. Thank you, Slippy Fingers, Dallas Flyboy, Gavin Gamine, Tiger King, Peacemaker, everybody. And I do want to make sure that you guys know when our next match is that we'll be casting. The next casted match is going to be tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern with Latin Force versus Siren Snails, casted by Nightfire himself. You cannot miss it. Same channel, Onward VRML. Do not miss it. I swear if you miss it, I'm going to be extremely disappointed in you, but I'll forgive you because I'm a nice person. What can I say? Because I know you'll come back and watch me. You know? Um, but hey, that's all I've got to say. Signing out here. Thank you for both War Thug, QC, and Fake for the awesome game. Thank you for letting me cast. It's good to be back. And I will see you guys in the next game. Peace.